Greetings brothers and sisters, we are trusting and believing and hoping that all is well with you and that you are having a great week. We are also doing great and are happy to be reporting this news to you as they come in. So we are coming to you from Burkina Faso. This time around, oh well, just like the other times, Captain Ibrahim Traore has not disappointed us. He is cleaning up and still cleaning up his country. He wants to make it as good as possible, as working as possible for the people. And this time around, we have just seen him cancelling. Con you know, there's a time he was cancelling contracts of people who are not doing their jobs. Mm. If you are French companies, yeah, French companies, a lot of useless companies. He's just cancelled deals with a lot of people and has been hated by even officials in his own government because of corruption and all of these things. And right now, he has just ended a contract for Snedai Adama Pitogo's company. So this is what Snedai is all about. The Ivorian group Snedai, one of the main shareholders of which is none other than the president of Ivorian National Assembly, Adama Pitogo, has been withdrawn from the market for publishing administrative and identification documents in Burkina Faso. Indeed, the Burkina Bay authorities have decided not to renew the contract which has linked the two parties since 2013. This contract signed in the form of public-private partnership aimed to produce secure consular cards. The non-renewal of the contract follows an assessment deemed insufficient by the Burkina Bay authorities. According to Sika Finance, which reports the information in the day's performance did not meet expectations during the 10 year of execution of the contract. So this is a company that produces national identification documents for Burkina Bays. And uh, Tra Traore came to know that this has been a very inefficient company mm -hmm. and the contract had to be ended. This is such an important, I'm also wondering why would they give a foreign company a contract to produce their national document? Yeah. He's talking about pub public private. PPP. So it was the government of Burkina Faso. Mm -hmm. And the company, the company owned by Adama Victorgo, mm. who is a, a member of National Assembly in Cote d'Ivoire. Uh -huh. yeah. He's not a foreigner. They are the same people, Burkina Bay and Ivorians. You find uh, Fulani people and all that. It's the same people. It's the same, but... I would say like Malay. We are not foreigners hey, in Africa. Hey. So let's, you, let's say it like the white man has maybe, maybe, Maybe there was nobody in Burkina who mm. could provide those services then or this guy had helped the former president of Burkina because that was when this thing contract was signed eh? yeah 2013 and now he had to chip in you know how we do it mm -hmm. i help you you help me mm -hmm. and something fishy there eh? yeah uh, but but you need to understand that most of the people who invest in codivo mm. like there was this list of the biggest investors in Codivo. Number one was actually Bukina, Bukina Bay, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Mm -hmm. You find a lot of Ivorians investing in Bukina Faso. Mm -hmm. It is good. That's what we need in yeah, Africa. Open border. But if this company was inefficient, mm -hmm. it needed to be ousted. For 10 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they need to give the contract to another person, whether from Bukina, whether from Niger, whether from Mali, Nigeria, it doesn't matter, but an African. Actually, I'm also thinking of going to, you know, apply. Hey, no, I would rather say we look within us, you know. If not, then we look for people who are alive. I don't know. But having an Ivorian and us knowing what are I this government, and it's just too fishy for me how it <laughs> came to. I, I don't know how the agreement, you know, maybe this was the only guy who was available, which I doubt. You want to tell me all oh, this Burkina Bay can't... But don't worry. Next year we are hosting Watara. Said to be small. No, there's something fishy there. Oh, and we had seen uh, Ibrahim, Captain Ibrahim Traore cancelling a contract. Um, is it the airport? Where yeah. the French company has had done the same thing. Just corrupt. People were dying. Not even safe uh, measures nothing, were being followed. There was followed. nothing being done. Yeah, and it's just good for us to report that things are still moving in Burkina Faso. Yeah. If they are finding out something is corrupt, somebody's not doing their job, things are still happening just the way they are supposed to be. Captain is not there to joke. You just get out. You don't even care if you're National Assembly or whatever. Out. We are cancelling. It reminds me of the former president of Tanzania, mm -hmm. Mr. Rest in Power, President Magufuli. Once, 
he found mining companies mm-hmm. which were not following benefiting the mm-hmm. they were not following the policies mm-hmm. and was not benefiting Tanzanians. Mm-hmm. He cancelled all those contracts. Yeah. He found a contract which was signed to build the Bagamoyo port mm-hmm. of Tanzania mm-hmm. to the Chinese and the agreement was we will build that port and then we will, I think, run the port for 99 years. Mm-hmm. And you know what he said? Mm-hmm. The person who signed this contract <laughs> must have been a madman. And it's the former president who... How crazy can you be yeah. to sign such ridiculous so, contract? So, he, di- he used to do the same. Mm-hmm. Like, if it doesn't work, if for it's not people, working yeah. for the people, we out. are dropping it. Yeah. It's out, out. Yeah. But you find in some countries, these contracts who are not doing are not being built like for example in Kenya we had two dams mm-hmm. which were never built up to today the Manual. actually even the the company which was Italian even got paid mm-hmm. and we have nothing to show you see those those things yeah. yeah so that's why you find some countries of Africa are growing others are mm-hmm. remaining mm-hmm. because of this corruption that's thing true. So kudos to Captain Ibrahim Traore and the AES. Continue waking up the Africans as we continue supporting you and our brothers and sisters, both in the motherland and in the diaspora, are continuing to support you. We saw uh, Mama Arika Nachomborikwa coming to Bukina. And it was amazing. I wish I was there physically. Mm. We also know that they will be going for another one Mm. very soon. So if you are out there, in the US, in Europe, and you'd like to join our mom who's waking up Africans. Actually, Mama Arikana is one who woke up a lot of Africans mm. during the times of COVID. Mm. She used to talk about how France is and I, extracting $500 billion. Yeah. Dollars I bet year. she had an influence, even with the time trial, for them to realize that no, they yeah. need to off this guy. Yeah, so you can go to our ADDI.org, mm. then you go to the subscription somewhere up there. Yeah. You become the a link member. is in the description box. Yeah. If you'd like to support us, we have a buy me a coffee link in the description box down below. You can buy us one coffee, two coffees, each cost of five dollars. We will appreciate your support. Please don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, share. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye bye.